mushroom clouds snake skyward, hurling the atom's deadly radiation high into the heavens. Now, I talked the other day about sodium as well, and I said sodium lights are yellow, and we did an A E equals H nu type of calculation, but I want to impress upon you that this is always going to be the case no matter where the sodium comes from or what the sodium is in. Inside these lamps is a bit of metallic sodium, and when we excite it, it loses its energy. It gives off this characteristic yellow light, which has, is at a very particular wavelength. This is true no matter how you excite the sodium or where the sodium comes from. So if I turn on this torch, it's just a propane torch, you can see a little bit of yellow out here because there's sodium everywhere. I mean, there's sodium in your fingers, you know, there's salt everywhere. But if I actually spray some sodium chloride through this, you should be able to see a nice yellow color. Now, compare that color to the color in the sodium lights. It is exactly the same because it's, it's sodium. It's the, same, it's the same element. So the same uh, transition, as we'll see, of electrons is taking place, uh, releasing the energy in the form of light, which happens to be in the yellow portion of the spectrum. Now, there's another way to demonstrate this. Just, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but this is more fun anyway, this one. There we go. What we have here are some pickles. See? Dill pickles, no garlic. Don't like garlic pickles this early in the day. These have actually been in my lab for three months unrefrigerated, but. <laughs> it's amazing what pickling will do, though. You know? They're not that bad. No, I will not eat one. Don't ask me. OK. I'll take out an average size pickle here. Now, what we're going to do is uh, see if we can do an experiment that will tell you something again about light. I have two forks here, and I'm going to stab the pickle. There's one, and there's the other. So I got two forks. Let me zoom in a little bit here. And then I'm going to take uh, a couple of electrodes. And we're going to hook up the pickle to 120 volts. <laughs> so let's just pull this down here. And hopefully, you'll still be able to still be able to see this. So I'm going to crank up the voltage here, and when we get to a particular voltage, it's starting to make a sound there. Oh, there she goes. If we get the power up high enough, if we get the power up high enough, you'll actually, there you go, you see that nice glow? <laughs> now I want you to compare that color with the color that we saw on the sodium lights. It's exactly the same yellow. And that's because there's sodium in pickles. They're pickled in sodium chloride or brine. And so there's lots of sodium in there. Usually this thing blows up after a few seconds. Um, but that, that color, oh, I, didn't, I didn't put it back, sorry. That color is exactly the same as the, uh, as the color in sodium lights or in the sodium the chloride that I sprayed through the flame because it's sodium. So the idea here is that there's something unique about the structure of the electrons in sodium that gives us this yellow light. That's only 100 volts. Let's try 120. There we go. <laughs> You wouldn't believe what this smells like. Okay, so it's conductive because it's full of sodium chloride, but it also glows yellow because of the sodium that's in there. So I hope I've convinced you that sodium will always be yellow if you excite it. 